Arduino Uno or ESP32? Which one's actually better for reading sensors? I connected both to ADHT11. Ran a live comparison, and only one of them gave me this. Let's break it down. Haymakers, welcome back to Alex 3 Dworks. Today, I'm comparing the board side by side, the classic Arduino Uno and the powerful ESP32. Both are running the exact same temperature and humidity sensor, the DHT11, and for the ESP32. I'm using a 3D printed case, one designed in FreeCAD to keep the setup clean. Let's start with the Arduino Uno. I wired the DHT11 to pin D to for data, powered it with 5 volts, and grounded it. With the DHD library, we get live readings in the serial monitor. It's simple. It works, but that's all you get. No Wi-Fi, no dashboards, no remote access. This is the code and after you debug and send the code to the Arduino, open the serial monitor. Now the same sensor, but on the ESP32, I connected the data pinage PO15, used 3.3 volts, and mounted the board in my printed case to keep everything stable. You get the same output in the serial monitor, but ESP32 has something Uno doesn't, built-in Wi-Fi. This sketch runs a basic web server. Just grab the IP address from the serial monitor, open it in any browser, and boom, live sensor readings, auto-updating every two seconds, no extra hardware, no shields, no cables. UNO is perfect when you're starting out, learning how sensors work. But if you want smarter builds, dashboards, IAT, robotics, ESP32 is on another level, faster, cheaper, more features. And when you drop it in a custom case like this one, it's ready for your next serious project. Which board do you prefer, a No or ESP32? Drop your opinion in the comments. Subscribe if you're into DIY robots, smart sensors, and 3D printed builds. My next project, a remote controlled ESP30 to tank, and you won't want to miss that.